what's up? How are you guys today? It is a lovely afternoon in the middle of April and the first day I am getting some sun. We've done so many videos on vitamin D on my channel. We've talked about tanning beds, the metabolism, what nutrients it's synergistic with, the many health benefits, especially for your hormones, whether you're male for testosterone or female for estrogen. A few years ago, we were talking about uh, Frankie's ball grease and how you should put vitamin D on your private parts for improved hormone synthesis as well. But uh, if you guys are familiar with all of those videos, you'll know that, hey, April isn't too early to tan. You know, most people wait till pretty deep into the summer to go to the beach, but the UV index right now is at the point where, you know, it's kind of worth it to be outside to actually get some vitamin D and start feeling good. You know, you don't have the, the downsides of the tanning bed, high radiation levels. It's, it's causing some sort of health issues, although, the benefits of the tanning salon definitely outweigh the cons for most people. So, you know, it, it's pretty warm outside today, 60 degrees, but even if it's 50, 45, if it's sunny, if it's not too windy, you can still go outside and lay in the sun. The main issue is that they spray, uh, I don't think I can say the word, but the point is there are various vapors sprayed in the air by airplanes that are actually intending to block the UVB, the vitamin D. I'm assuming because it's so early in the season that they're not doing it yet today. I don't know. So I spoke a little too soon. They are spraying some trails in the air. You can see right there is one. But the main thing is after they spray those, then you got to see what happens. So if there are hazy clouds appearing in front of the sun, then, yeah, they're probably blocking the UVB. But since that is kind of over that ways and not like directly above me, it might be okay for a little while longer. So it can be a little hard to tell, but after they spray around the sun, it's not gonna be like a deep blue sky. It's gonna be like a, a whitish grayish blue. Cause if you look over there, like sky is perfectly dark blue, but as we go closer to the sun, it's, it gets almost cloudy, but there's no clouds. So. And you'll feel the reduced UV of the sun after they do that. Uh, when you go outside, when you're laying here, you can feel the rays of the sun on your skin. If you don't actually feel the sun, you know, heating your skin up, the warmth of it, then the UV index is probably not high enough. Although it's still beneficial to go out and feel good. You know, if your skin is pretty dark, if you have been going to the tanning salon, then uh, maybe go outside at a different time of the day. I think earlier in the morning, you know, maybe 9, 10, 11 a.m. They haven't uh, put too much stuff up in the sky yet or later in the day, but April, early May might, might be the best time for most people because I know for like the past two years in New York, they were just completely spraying it. You couldn't even tan. Uh, so my setup out here is uh, just, uh, this is actually a cot I think it's on. On Amazon, I think it's 50 to $100 depending on the quality you get. I'm just outside in the grass. You know, I've tested the Wi-Fi EMF levels out here. I know they're not zero, but they're also not too crazy high. You know, if you go outside and you're getting headaches and you're not feeling so good, that could be an indicator that maybe, you know, your neighbors have a smart meter, maybe there's some other high Wi-Fi devices nearby, but I mean, <laughs> you know, these Wi-Fi shielding shorts are only <laughs> protecting uh, my lower half. So, you know, the rest of my body is completely exposed to the Wi-Fi EMF. And since I've covered, you know, the metabolism, the synergistic nutrients, all that stuff in the past on vitamin D, I mean, the only thing I really have to add to that is, um, you know, a lot of the other fat type of vitamins, especially vitamin A, vitamin K2, even some B vitamins and minerals are used up in vitamin D metabolism. So if you're not getting sun and you're following a nutrient dense diet, your body is not going to use up those vitamins because the skin, obviously the epidermis, is, is, is a huge organ system, covers so much of your body. And for your body to heal that much tissue after being in the sun, it takes an incredible amount of nutrients. That's why you see some people, you know, they are sunburned for like weeks and weeks and weeks after one day in the sun. They're always putting on tanning lotion, which we made another video on. We talked about how uh, lotion is not actually good to be using and it's more beneficial to just be out in the sun with nothing on your skin. But I mean, those people that can't heal their skin after weeks of being in the sun, they have very high vegetable seed oil stores in their cells, and they just don't have enough of the B vitamins to, to heal properly. So if you're in a good metabolic state, 
um, even if you're perfectly healthy, it is very important to use up those nutrient stores because if you go 5, 10, 15, 20 years without getting sun, without recycling your skin, you know, your liver, your organs, your fat tissue is going to be storing up those vitamins for its anticipated sun exposure. But if that never happens, you could have uh, definitely an excess and imbalances of certain nutrients. So uh, the problem is a vitamin D supplement will not alleviate that. Vitamin D supplementation is okay if you're super severely deficient. Maybe it can get you to low to moderate levels instead of just zero. But in regards to actually getting optimal levels of vitamin D, feeling good, that stuff, you have to be in the sun. And now's the perfect time to do it. So I'm just going to try to lay out here for an hour or two because, you know, it's already a little later in the day, I think around 1.30, 2 o'clock. So I'll lay like this for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then I, I'll end up flipping over and just trying to, to coat all sides of my body evenly. But uh, because, you know, I'm, my face is turned to the side, I will kind of rotate my face when I'm lying like this, and sometimes I'll even, like, switch over to the other side of... Uh, the, the tanning bed cot, whatever you want to call this, uh, just to get even coverage all over my face, all over my body, and have an even tan as well. So, uh, you know, on one hand, I'm hoping they don't spray too much stuff in the air this year and I can get plenty of sun. On the other hand, you know, around my work schedule and that stuff, you know, being out in the sun for an hour or two or three hours every day is not really practical for most people. So the solution to that is you either have to go to the tanning salons, as I've said, as I've done videos on explaining that in depth, or um, you can try to take a small amount of vitamin D supplementation. The lamps that you guys have told me, those don't really work. Uh, maybe you can make some sort of UVB bulb set up in your house. I mean, I'm not an electrician. I wouldn't know how to wire that, but that might be a reasonable solution. You know, it's great if you're grounded too. I'm assuming this is grounded because uh, there's metal here, and even though it's painted, it's in touch with the earth. So I'm assuming I am grounded out here. The issue is, you know, in New York, suburban areas, just the all the localized EMF radiation is actually in the ground. So I'm, I'm kind of electrifying myself to some degree. That's why, you know, inside, you know, I would never try to ground myself with an outlet in, uh, in this high uh, frequency of an area because, you know, you have all people's smart meters, you have cell towers, you have all their Wi-Fi devices, you have so much non-native unnatural emf radiation levels in this type of area now uh, you know if you're in a rural area if you can go out to a park to tan um in, in the forest anywhere where you can get sun exposure and there's not a lot of electronic devices of course you don't want to have your phone on you or any of that stuff that that would be perfect that would be ideal because not only are you getting the benefits of the sun you're in contact with the earth you're getting the earth's natural antioxidants you're getting fresh air Guys, I've done videos on everything. We did a video on fresh air, how you should open your window. Uh, if everyone was outside doing this for an hour or two every day in the summer, uh, doctors wouldn't be in business. Doctors would not be in business to say the least. Um, even if you're following a not so great diet, even if you have a bunch of other things you do that aren't that healthy, this this really can alleviate a lot of those issues. Now, of course, if you've had you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years of, of bad lifestyle, for me, the liver damage from the carnivore diet, you know, it's not like one or two seasons is going to fix all those health issues. You're going to start feeling a lot better. You're going to look a lot better. But, you know, thankfully, if you're younger, if you don't haven't experienced those issues yet, and you get started on doing stuff like this, you're gonna you're gonna be set up uh, good for later. Yeah, I mean, the vitamin D, the ball tanning stuff, that actually has been getting really popular. A lot of people are talking about TikTok, YouTube. Um, that that tends to be the trend. Um, th these plagiarists and copycats uh, will start talking about things that I did years ago on my YouTube channel. And no one really remembers me or, or, or defends me on those videos. Um, and then they go try to sell their products or whatever products they came up with in that period of time. So uh, it's a little discouraging, but um, on the other hand, it is kind of crazy that no one else really came up with those ideas before me, you know, in 2020. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you can just search Frank Tefano Vitamin D, Frank Tefano Tanning Salon, uh, Frank Tefano Tanning Lotion. You know, there were the recalls last year for all the the toxins and the compounds, the cancer causing stuff in the tanning lotion. But I, I just felt like doing a little update video just reminding you guys, hey, now is the time where you can kind of get out in the sun if the weather's okay. At least in the Northern Hemisphere. I know some of you guys, South America, Australia, um, are watching me as well. You guys are going into, I don't know, fall or uh, fall right now. Uh, but you guys can check out frank com. We have a bunch of high quality meat products on Frankie's syringe meat. Very important to get adequate B vitamins in. You might even have to supplement some, which we do have 
a natural B complex supplement on organsupplements.com. We have water key for probiotic, very high in B vitamins on frankiesrangefoods.com. Guys, just really a bunch of really interesting stuff. Frankie's Naturals, we do have the, the vitamin D ball cream, which is also great for tanning. And uh, some of you guys might remember this as well. Um, it can be kind of hard to uh, keep your feet and hands and face as tan as the rest of your body because, you know, your feet are in your socks and it's very abrasive. Your hands are always washing and touching stuff. Your face, same thing, always washing and touching your face. Uh, so if you use the uh, vitamin D cream on those parts of your body, it can accelerate the tanning process for those parts for aesthetic reasons. Also, you can uh, just wear like, you can wear a long sleeve shirt and t-shirt and just tan your face and hands. Like, Although I would prefer to go to the tanning salon for that because you don't want to lay out here for four hours just to tan your face and hands. Um, but I think that's everything, guys. You can see it on frank .com. Almost forgot. A lot of you guys might not have privacy uh, to actually be naked, which is why clearly I'm not naked outside. I don't have that much privacy here. So you don't have to worry about like not having your private parts exposed to the sun. You're still going to get the vitamin D hormone benefits. Uh, you might just want to try like uh, one or two drops of uh, vitamin D supplement. Uh, like just, literally just one or two, a thousand or two thousand IU on those areas. And of course, uh, I've spoken about vitamin K2, the other synergistic stuff in my other videos.